Hey, this is Mike with Riding in the Ozarks. And today's video is a recap of our 2019 Bike Fest adventure. So Bike Fest is about to happen here in a couple of weeks. If you're not familiar with Bike Fest, it is the largest motorcycle rally in the state of Missouri. It takes place at Lake of the Ozarks and it starts on officially Thursday and runs through Sunday. We usually uh, go up on Wednesday or Thursday. We rent a house. We share that with friends. We hang out at the house and do our drinking at night or you know, cook our meals and run around during the day checking out all the sites and catching up with friends that we don't see that might be in visiting from other parts of the state. And we like to go hang out at the ice hole. So we'll kick this off after the intro with our ride up to the lake and our first night hanging out with our friends. Oh, we gotta have some chips on YouTube, too. Not sales. about that, though. But it's just anything and everything. Not about that. Oh, hold it. We're having a serious conversation here. Okay, you guys can have a serious conversation. We're having some serious YouTube. Okay, I'm having yeah. a serious conversation. Don't play it in there, boy. Right? My Uncle Donnie, it was my mom's Shut birthday. Up. It was my mom's birthday. And Donnie, my aunt. It was mom's birthday. It was mom's birthday. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> hey, let me tell story. It was mom's birthday. Donnie wanted to play the drums with you them. You guys could have a YouTube for channel. For mom's birthday. We it's might have one before story. this fight's over. So, birthday. it was for your mom's birthday. Donnie's yeah, no, it was mom's birthday. Well, Donnie's birthday. Wanted, hey, shut the fuck up! Hey, <laughs> you know you were mom was there when Guns N' Roses had a riot in the dirt for mom's birthday. <laughs> Fuck what he's talking about. It ain't his mom anymore. I'm just telling him. <laughs> <laughs> it was my mom's birthday. Was and my uncle. Yeah, was exactly. <laughs> All right. Well, as you can imagine, after staying up late drinking, we're not real early risers. But we usually get up, make some breakfast. We usually have our dinners back at the house also. That way we're not spending a fortune on eating out or waiting two hours to get seated because it's so busy. It's a good tip for anybody that's going this year. And if you're renting a house, Buy a few groceries so you can make a sandwich at the house or cook some breakfast. So, on Fridays, we like to run around and check out all the vendors and get that out of the way before everybody gets there and the party really gets going on Saturday. I want to fucking do something. Let's go fucking do I'm something. Ready? No, I'm ready. I'm busy sipping my soda I'm here. Well, don't sip it. Don't drink. be a bitch, like Nick said. Chug it up, buttercup. Chug it up, buttercup. <sighs> We usually go out to the Harley Davidson dealer. They have a big compound set up behind the dealership where there's vendors selling leather goods, helmets, patches, doing light installs for LEDs, things like that. Occasionally you run into that goofball that's trying to sell you the magic bracelet that's going to cure your back pain for $100. Obviously, I didn't buy any of those. We are excited to hear that this year, the Harley Davidson demo truck is going to be there and you can do demo rides. That's not something that's been there the last few years, and it's about time Harley got their shit together. Because the uh, Indian dealer out of Columbia, Missouri, Head Indian, has been there doing Indian demo rides the last few years. And, you know, if you haven't been paying attention, Indian's coming after them. So after we leave the Harley dealership, we go down to H Toads. H Toads stands for Horny Toads, which is a uh, bar, hotel place down there. That's where we uh, always hang out on Saturday night, because that's where they... ACTC Tribute Band is always at, and we always have a good time there. They have vendors set up down at the H Toad Complex. There'll be guys doing pinstriping, selling t-shirts, showing off rat rods, bike builders, you know, that kind of stuff. So then we all head down to the strip. There'll be more vendors set up at various parking lots up and down through there. Of course, you got to stop at Leatherman's. If you haven't seen Leatherman's, there's a bit of a link up here. 
um, to a video I did where we stopped in there. And just, there's lots of bars up and down the strip there, so it's a good place to go get something to eat, hang out, have a, a refreshing beverage, kind of check out the bands and the scenes. Usually people really start coming in on Friday afternoon. Friday night last year, we went to uh, Port Arrowhead. They had a great white concert and had another band that opened up for them. Unfortunately, uh, my battery ran dead on my camera before Great White got on the stage. Not that YouTube would let me play that music anyway without giving me a strike for copyright. On Saturday, it's usually about hanging out with friends, whether it be catching up at a bar, doing a ride out to Ha Ha Tonka State Park, or maybe just doing a ride around the lake. Then Saturday evening, we always head down to Horny Toads. That's where the ACDC Tribute Band, Hell's Bells, plays. We always have a great time down there. There's a huge crowd, and it's one of our favorite things to do during Bike Fest. So this video is basically just a whole bunch of clips from our experience last year. I really hadn't even started my YouTube channel yet and I didn't really know how to do a lot of this stuff. So I uh, hope you enjoyed it, give you some ideas what it's like to go to Bike Fest and how we spend our time there. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you do that YouTube thing, check out the content on my channel. You can hit that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to ring that bell to be notified the next time I drop a new video. And as always, Thank you for your support. Stay safe and keep on riding.